Welcome to the 2122 Middle School Math Course Recommendation Information Session for teachers, counselors, and administrators. Thank you for taking the time to watch this recording. The purpose of this video is to explain the Middle School Math Course Selection Process. We will be using the document 2122 Middle School Math Course Selection Process document that you can access using the QR code on your screen, the bit.ly on your screen, or through the lcps.org website under Teaching and Learning Mathematics. You may also find this document in our Schoology groups for Math Contacts, Math Salts, 5th grade teachers, and middle school teachers. Every seven years, Virginia releases updated math standards. The last update was done in 2016, and the next update will be in 2023. The Virginia Department of Education is collaborating with universities, community colleges, and 22 other states to create updated mathematics pathways. The proposal maintains similar content for students in grades K through 7 and introduces integrated math courses for grades 8 through 10. This will prepare students for a variety of courses in 11th and 12th grade. The traditional Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2 course sequence will be replaced with three integrated courses, which will earn two high school math court credits. These courses will focus on data analysis, mathematical modeling, functions in algebra, spatial reasoning, and probability. Upon completion of Math 8, 9, and 10 in 10th grade, Students will be able to choose from a variety of rigorous math courses and pathways that align with their educational goals. Because of these proposed changes, it has caused us to shift our thinking about our current practices. If you're interested in learning more about the Virginia Mathematics Pathway Initiative, vis visit the Department of Education website for Virginia Mathematics or use the QR code on the screen to learn more. Our current fifth grade students are going to need an initial math course selection. Teachers will be providing a recommendation for Math 6 or Foundations of Algebra based on data they've collected from observations, assessments, and student goals. To learn more about these courses, use the QR code or the bit.ly on the screen. There you can view the SOL standards for each course and the curriculum framework for each course. The table shown here illustrates the projected math pathways for current fifth grade students, given our current course progression and the new proposed courses that will be introduced in 2023. It is important to note with the new 2023 standards adopted, all pathways shown will have, give students the opportunity to enroll in calculus in 12th grade. Teachers will have two considerations when making a recommendation for students. The first consideration is the goals and desire for a student to accelerate in mathematics, and the second is based on student data. Looking at student data is very different this year. In the past, we've had access to SOL scores in the fourth grade, as well as more reliable assessments that were taken proctored in a face-to-face -face setting, such as the MAP assessment. This year, teachers will need to be more creative with data they are using, and they will look at the whole student. They'll need to rely on their student observations, targeted small group instruction, and student conferencing to help them. In addition to considering data, teachers should also understand the student's goals and desires to accelerate. When students are motivated to accelerate, when students are motivated to accelerate in mathematics themselves, it is proven they will be more successful. It is important to determine if they have a desire to accelerate. It is also important to consider their goals for high school, thinking about if they're interested in taking AP Calculus or Multivariable Calculus. As we pointed out earlier, all rising sixth grade students will have access to AP Calculus with the new 2023 standards. So you might ask yourself, why would a student take Foundations of Algebra versus Math 6? If a student is interested in enrolling in a magnet school such as AET, AOS, or TJ, those schools currently require students to be enrolled in Algebra 1 in 8th grade in order to apply. If a student would like to apply to one of these magnet schools, they would need to be enrolled in Algebra 1 by 8th grade. Therefore, they would need to be enrolled in Foundations of Algebra in 6th grade and Pre-Algebra in 7th grade. 
When we think about student goals, we must also think about the data and the information we have on the whole child in order to make an informed recommendation. Teachers can use all available da data from their classroom in order to help them make their recommendation. Observations during instruction provide teachers with data that is often not able to be determined by a standardized assessment. During targeted small group instruction, teachers are able to learn if a student is, has an interest in mathematics. They are also able to learn if a student has a strong number sense. A strong number sense is defined as being able to think flexibly about numbers, not necessarily being able to memorize an algorithm or being fast at mathematics. Formative and submittive assessments, coursework, Dreambox data, and other standardized assessment data such as MAP data, previous SOL data, the COGAT, and the Naglieri assessment can be used to look at the whole child. In the past, we've given specific data points to help make the recommendation, and given the current state, that is not possible this year. After thinking about your students' goals and looking at your students' data, you may need to have a conference with your students. You may need to hold a parent-guardian conference or a student conference to make the best decision for your student. We have linked a teacher recommendation conference recording sheet. This sheet will give you questions that you may use to guide your conversation and record your notes. The sheet can be used by teachers or by parents to go through the questions for students. The sheet is intended to be a resource to support your conversations with families and is not required by the math office. Some students may be interested in accelerating two years in mathematics, skipping Math 6 and Foundations of Algebra in order to access multivariable calculus in high school. Students who wish to enroll in pre-algebra in sixth grade must take an assessment to meet the, and meet the qualifying score. The assessment will be available to all students who are interested in this mathematics pathway. Interested students will work with their fifth grade teacher to schedule taking the assessment. Fifth grade teachers will use the pre-algebra readiness assessment guidance document to schedule and administer the assessment during the window of February 1st through the 17th. Students who receive a qualifying score on the assessment will be recommended by their fifth grade teacher for pre-algebra in the sixth grade. In previous years, Algebra 1 was an option for 6th grade students. The prerequisite for Algebra 1 has been changed to the completion of pre-algebra. Students who enroll in pre-algebra in 6th grade will still have access to the highest math course offered by LCPS, Multivariable Calculus. Any student recommended by their 5th grade teacher may take the pre-algebra readiness assessment. In addition to those that are recommended, Students or parents and guardians who request to take the assessment will have the opportunity to take the assessment as well. It should be noted that students enrolled in Foundations of Algebra in 6th grade will be eligible to apply to magnet schools. Pre-algebra in 6th grade is not required for the application process. As teachers are making their recommendations for who might take the pre-algebra readiness assessment, a MAP score of 230 may indicate readiness for pre-algebra. It may be an indicator that a student should take this assessment. It's important for teachers to look at the whole child and remember that a MAP score is only one possible indicator that a student should take the assessment. The testing window for the pre-algebra readiness assessment is February 1st through the 17th. Each school is responsible for having their students complete the pre-algebra readiness assessment within the testing window. This test will be proctored virtually by individual schools. By January 29th, all schools will need to indicate which students will be taking the pre-algebra readiness assessment. Each school principal and math contact received a school-specific spreadsheet from the Department of Instruction the first week of January. School teams should work together to list all students that were recommended or requested to take the assessment in the spreadsheet provided. The test will be assigned to students by DOI based on the assessment date entered on the spreadsheet. Each school will arrange to proctor the assessment in performance matters to everyone listed on the spreadsheet during the testing window of February 1st through the 17th. This assessment will be proctored virtually. Instructions for proctors will be linked and provided on the Pre-Algebra Readiness Assessment Guidance document before February 1st. 
Once the testing window closes, DOI will add scores to the School Excel spreadsheets for each student who took the pre-algebra readiness assessment. Scores will not be reported to parents directly. Parents and guardians may contact schools to inquire about their score after recommendations are received by parents on February 25th or 26th. After the scores have been added, teachers adjust recommendations for students who scored 82% or higher on the pre-algebra readiness assessment and recommend them for pre-algebra in the sixth grade. DOI will share a parent letter explaining the process with a video similar to the one you are watching now for parents through Blackboard Connect the week of January 11th. We encourage school teams and teachers to also share this information with parents and families through the normal means of communication with their communities. The parent letter can be accessed through our QR code on the screen and it also can be accessed in the document linked in the bit.ly. From January 18th through February 24th, all fifth grade teachers will be, will be making middle school course recommendations. This will be for all courses, not just mathematics. On February 25th or 26th, schools will send a permission click to parents and guardians for them to acknowledge the course recommendations made by teachers or to request a change. For current math six students, teachers will determine a course recommendation for each of their students. The recommendation will be for foundations of algebra or pre-algebra. To learn more about these courses, use the QR code or the bit.ly on the screen to view the standards and the curriculum framework for each course. The table here illustrates the typical mathematics pathway for current sixth graders given our current course progression. If a student who is in Math 6 is interested in enrolling in a magnet school, applying to enroll in a magnet school, they would need to go to pre-algebra in 7th grade to access Algebra 1 by 8th grade. As we've shared previously, we will use student goals and data for teachers to make a recommendation. Once again, here are some of the questions to consider. Does the child wish to accelerate in mathematics? What are their goals for high school and beyond? And are they wishing to apply to a magnet school? As teachers are making their recommendations and using data, a MAP score of 230 may indicate readiness for pre-algebra. It is important for teachers to look at the whole child and remember that a MAP score is only one of the indicators that a student is ready for pre-algebra. For current Foundations of Algebra students, teachers will determine a course recommendation of pre-algebra or algebra. To learn more about these courses, use the QR code or the bit.ly on the screen to view the standards and the curriculum framework. The images on the screen show typical progression for current sixth graders in Foundations of Algebra on the left, and a typical progression for current 7th graders in Foundations of Algebra on the right. As teachers are making their recommendation, they'll use goals of the student and student data to help them make a recommendation. Again, here are the questions that you might be asking your students to help determine what course recommendation is best. If a current 7th grader is enrolled in Foundations of Algebra and is interested in applying to a magnet school, they would need to enroll in Algebra 1 by 8th grade. As teachers are making their recommendations and using data, a MAP score of 235 may indicate readiness for Algebra. It's important for teachers to look at the whole child and remember that this MAP score is only one of many possible indicators that a student may be ready for Algebra. If you have additional questions that your school team is not able to answer by reading the 21-22 Middle School Math Course Selection Process document or watching this video, please reach out to the Math Department, Nicole Akers or Cindy Brady. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this and hope you have a great day.